Welcome to the new Comox Valley Regional District Head Office. Located at 770 Harmston Avenue in Courtney, this new building will provide Comox Valley residents with a central access point to the CVRD's many services and resources. To keep the building costs tax neutral while creating this community asset, the CVRD redirected its previous lease and capital reserve payments toward the construction. I think one of the things that people were really concerned about was cost because of course you know building a new building but we were paying quite expensive lease costs at our own building and and now we're paying into the ownership of this building. Built to lead gold standards the new head office has incorporated many sustainable features to keep our environmental footprint small. It was designed to maximize sunlight and solar thermal heating and includes water efficient fixtures, drought tolerant gardening and shade devices to control heat gain. The design also follows best management practices for stormwater quality and quantity, including a bioswale and detention system. At the front of the building, visitors are greeted by a beautiful totem pole handcrafted by Sean Frank, a member of Comox First Nation. Well, we are on the unceded traditional territory of the Comox First Nation, and it's very important to this board to build that relationship. It's one of our strategic drivers. We wanted to do as much as we could to incorporate the culture into this new building. So I'm really proud of the relationship that Comox First Nation has with the Comox Valley Regional District. Um, we work really well together at a political and administrative level. I think we really need to key in and focus on um, building and maintaining those relationships with our local governments um, because that's how we're going to move forward together. The open concept lobby area and information centre is bright and spacious and contains a large canoe hanging from the ceiling crafted by Randy Frank, also from Comox First Nation. I think it's very important to showcase Indigenous art uh, in public places within our territories. People don't necessarily think of the impacts Canada's history had on our culture and our arts. You know, unwinding colonial legacies is very important uh, to Indigenous peoples. The building is approximately 23,000 square feet and approximately 90 staff work on site, providing 99 services to residents within the region. As this location is situated outside the floodplain of the Courtney and Solom rivers, the building will be able to continue to provide emergency services in times of need through our post-disaster regional emergency operations center. Here, government staff will be able to provide support in times of emergencies, like wildfires or earthquakes. When it comes to efficiency, the new building has a range of cutting edge features. The chilled beam heating and cooling system is 50% more efficient than a conventional system while the HVAC system is highly energy efficient and includes heat recovery. The entire building uses LED lighting, plus the roof has been prepared for future solar panel installation. It also has 72 on-site parking stalls following the City of Courtney's parking requirements and has incorporated electric vehicle charging stations for the CVRD fleet and for the public. Community support was an important consideration in the design and construction of the new CVRD building. Public engagement and consultation sessions helped guide the building's West Coast feel, and many of the contractors who worked on the facility were island-based. Boardroom furniture was designed and made by a couch and valley company, while the wooden signs were created by grant signs in Campbell River. The CVRD's new building reflects community values and needs, and we hope you'll come by to visit us and see how these new facilities will help us serve you better.